The information is hot right now, and Nintendo has the world in their hand currently, but there's some more details that we need to talk about. Now, I didn't address these in my previous video because I was a flaming maniac, but we have to talk about E3. Now, in the video that I last did, I was speaking about how exciting it would be to actually get NX details at the presentation, but it turns out they ain't gonna be nothing NX at the presentation, and rather, there won't be anything there but Zelda, the new Zelda title that's up and coming, and it's going to be for the Wii U and the NX. Now, there are some people that are upset behind this, and I wanted to talk about this in a video with you guys as well, too, and maybe share my thoughts on it as well. We have a Kotaku article here, which basically summarizes the information, crunches it down a little bit, but the overall nutshell of it is that there is not going to be anything NX at E3, just gonna be Zelda. So. I'll have this link in the description if you want to read this in full detail. We can go through it, but I want to concentrate more on exactly what people's responses is to this. But before we go into that, I also wanted to mention just really briefly that there's also going to be some mobile titles for um, smart devices coming up soon. This is pretty cool. We're going to get some Animal Crossing. We're going to get some Fire Emblem. Very nice. And we have the logos right here. I don't know if we've seen that logo in previous Fire Emblem games before. Let me know in the comments if we have. As you know, I'm pretty much a newbie to the series, so I don't know the history, but that's pretty damn cool the fact that we'll get a smartphone game with fire emblem will i be able to take my waifu on the go will i be able to have my waifu with me as we travel out there nintendo they know what they're doing clearly and hopefully there'll be a lot of um instances with relationships and stuff like that along with the awesome strategy role playing as well too but let's move on also actually you know and i never really played an animal crossing game myself but i know people go crazy over this series and it's funny because the only reason why i didn't want to play new leaf is because i was scared that i would get addicted and i would spend all of my time on that game and i didn't want that to happen so i definitely acknowledge animal crossing as a major title but let's talk about the information with E3. This is somewhere that a lot of people are a bit sensitive. So I put a tweet out there. This is on Twitter. You can check me out as well too. Shameless plug. I asked niggas, what are your guys' thoughts on the NX for March 2017 and no NX information being revealed at E3 and Zelda as a sole E3 focus? I'm reading them right now for a video and I'm going to be doing just that. I want to see where people who are in my circle are thinking about this whole thing. So let's go through this real quick. Well, I'm not, I'm not, I don't really mean real quick, but you know, I just want to like touch on it briefly. So, oh, we have MBZ talking about this whole thing too. So let's see here. Please just shoot me from WS4F. It will be less painful than waiting this long. The delays do suck, but being honest, we all thought that it would probably get a holiday release and now it's being pushed back to March. Granted, you know, that's three months that we didn't expect to wait for this, but considering that it is being worked on for the NX, I don't think it's that big of a deal. And we all know that famous quote that uh, Shigeru Miyamoto puts out about delayed games. So it's all good. I mean, Star Fox Zero was delayed, and I think the game came out relatively well. Let's look at some more comments here. If it happens, it happens. And now also, I'm... I, should I tell you my opinion now? Yeah, I'm going to tell you my opinion now. Now, everyone is really up in arms about E3 only focusing on Zelda uh, Wii U. Well, Wii U Annex. I mean, I, we'll just call it Zelda at this point, but some people don't like that idea. And they were wondering if there would be other games playable, if there would be NX stuff playable. And that's not going to be the case. So, understandably, there will be some disappointment in that field. But we have to trust Nintendo. They wouldn't put all of their eggs in a basket like this just so haphazardly and not have something prepared, especially considering the knowledge that they've gained from the Wii U. I mean, as much as we want to criticize them, I think they still have it down pat. I'm going to put my trust into Nintendo for E3. I think it'll still be a very hype presentation regardless, even if Zelda's the only focus. And who knows? The game must be goddamn good. I mean, for them to say that it's going to get the sole focus, it must be a groundbreaking title. And think about how delayed this game has been. I mean, I think it's been over a year now that Zelda Wii U has been delayed, or maybe almost close to a year. If, With that in mind, guys, there must be some amazing features that they've been working on with this game. And and who knows, the NX version might just bring something crazy to the table that the Wii version doesn't have. I mean, we are bank or we are, are excuse me, we are all banking on that, I suppose. But if this is truly the case, then hey, just wait the extra three months. It's no big deal in my opinion. And I'm sure you guys won't really notice the time anyways, because with the excitement for the NX happening, we're gonna get more information the closer we get to the date. So trust me, the three months will fly by. It'll be like it never happened in the first place. However, I am so this is from Flanny. I am kind of disappointed that we won't see that much at E3. Yeah, even though I do trust Nintendo with the way that they're handling E3 and Zelda, I do not like the fact that we won't be getting anything else. I mean, I think it'll still be a very hype presentation. I'm sure Zelda's going to give us oohs and ahs and wow the fuck out of us, but no other titles will be discussed at all? I mean, there are a lot of other games that I would have liked to see some more information about, man, but uh, nothing? 
What about that Project Treasure? I mean, I know, I, I know it has an official name. I usually like referring to the projects with their code names. But I mean, come on, guys. Nothing else at all? This can't be the case. I, I don't want to believe it. I believe it, but I don't want to believe it, dude. Like, come on, man. You could give us a little bit more information about something else down the line. But Nintendo, hey, man, I trust them. There are a lot of people that don't have their faith in Nintendo due to previous fuck-ups. But don't we all fuck up? Don't we all deserve a second chance? I think Nintendo definitely does, especially considering that motherfucking NX. I mean, that's going to be my fallback on so many things whenever people bring up how Nintendo's fucking up. Um, nigga, if this thing doesn't have a con console fire emblem at some point i'm i'm gonna be lit i think the last time that we saw a console fire emblem was on the gamecube uber and says kind of disappointing that there's going to be a software drought until march the only big thing left this year is pokemon sun and moon i understand where you're coming from yeah it, it does seem like the uh, like the games that are coming out eventually are going to be kind of slowed down i mean like well we have kirby planet robobato i mean I'm, I'm excited about that but i guess they're not really the super hard-hitting titles that everyone's talking about man uh let's see here it seems very weak honestly that is unless they have some more things to share that is and then we also have brian e soto vargas saying hopefully they show other titles to support the nx's launch during march i find it very strange that nothing about the nx is going to be set at e3 wouldn't you want the hype to be built up at some kind of event like that where there'll be a ton of eyeballs watching? A direct? Sure, that'll do the same effect, but I don't think it'll go as far as an E3 presentation. But of course, the NX is going to be directly eating into the Wii U and the 3DS if they do decide to release any information about it at E3. So, yeah, I understand why they're not talking about it, but it's, just, it's still strange. They put out a tweet mentioning the NX. So, th so then if you're not going to be mentioning it at E3, then why even bring it up in the first place? They probably maybe should have waited until after... E3 to begin talking about it or put out the tweet saying yes the NX is coming through on March 2017 but why now specifically it's a little bit strange man I think Nintendo's got something planned they got a little bit of weird ingredients added to the motherfucking brew dude I don't, I don't know having Zelda be the main focus kind of makes up for the fact that barely any footage was shown since it was unveiled up till now and this is something that I mentioned in my previous video we pretty much have no information in regards to Zelda Wii U Zelda NX what do you guys also think about the fact that we're going to be getting the game released to us on the same time, I don't know if it's exactly the same day, but around the same time frame as when the NX is released, but then what's the point of waiting for the game to come out at that time if, you, if you're going to get the Wii U, is the Wii U version even worth getting? I mean, at this point now, I, I guess it would make more sense if they released the Wii U version of Zelda uh, earlier because people have their Wii U's now, but when the NX comes out, people are going to want the NX version, and maybe it might feel a little bit strange for people that only have a Wii U and have Zelda, but I guess they're trying to open up the door of opportunity for them as well, too. There will be a lot of people that probably don't upgrade to the NX um, even when it comes out in March, so they want to leave an option for you guys, too. Hey, if you have a Wii U, guess what? You're still on board for the NX titles. I don't want you to feel left out you can still purchase yourself zelda for your console so i understand where you're coming from with the whole thing but it still seems a little bit weird from the perspective of some people i mean if, it, if the wii u version is going to be inferior to the nx version then when it comes out on the same day as the nx version aren't you going to have one even to the sales of the other or maybe you'll have the um, resources to supply both communities that must be where their perspective is and i trust them on it because maybe it won't eat into each other maybe they'll just be okay i only have a wii u i don't have an nx i don't want to buy it yet let's get that zelda for it man but then again this, the wii u suffering from lack of sales so i i don't know man i wish they had an explanation for some of these things let's look at some more comments real quick we have Zach Tri Trick Hack saying, I mean, I'm just salty Zelda Wii U isn't coming out this year, along with a lot of other people, Zach. We have Nugget Buster saying, it was mainly because people thought the tablet was an add-on for the Wii. Wait, oh, so this is a conversation that's currently going on. We have my man Nairo in here, giving his two cents to the whole thing. Let's see what my boy Nairo has to say. Uh, he actually probably responded to it, so I'm going to take a look at this. I think having Zelda as the only playable thing there for them is not the best idea, but I'll have a good time regardless. And Kotaku took a couple of shots at Nintendo uh, at the end of this article. They mentioned that, well, if you were planning on going to E3 to check out Nintendo games, you better see if your tickets are refundable. Oh, oh, God damn. I mean, Kotaku. I mean, these guys... <laughs> These guys are savages sometimes, man. People shit on Kotaku all the time. But good lord almighty, I admit, that was one hell of a shot taken right there. I don't I don't agree with that sentiment 100%. But I do have some understanding as to why they said it, dude. One title available at your presentation, Nintendo. 
one title, especially considering E3 last year. I mean, dude, come on, Nintendo. Don't fuck it up on me like that, man. Have something else there. If you only address Zelda as the main focus, the news, the big shit, the, the hype, okay, that's fine. But have some other titles there, my man. Do something for us. But like everyone said, there really isn't all that much to look forward to for the rest of 2016 in regards to the Wii U and the 3DS, besides Pokemon Sun and Moon, and maybe a couple other titles that I don't remember right now. But yeah, cool to see my man Nairo's opinion on this. Brandon here says, delay is not the end of the world. I agree. But my hype for E3 has greatly diminished. Yeah, it, it, it puts a strange perspective on it. Like I said, I think I trust Nintendo with this, but it's weird to see that there's not going to be anything else. Uh, we have Budding Weeaboo. <laughs> Budding Weeaboo saying, I'm a little upset that we won't get no NX information at E3. And that's probably where I'm at my lowest point with this, where I feel the most hurt because I'm hype about this thing now. But you mean to tell me, and, and we saw we saw something from um, Liam Robertson earlier. Liam Robertson made a tweet on here, and it, it was pretty damn funny. And it, it's what he, he attributed to the Bleach thing, too. Cheer up, everyone. At least we have another year of NX rumors to look forward to, with a nice brimming glass of Bleach going down the hatch. And I mean, dude, the closer we get to it, though, the more information we are officially going to receive, right? So I'm hoping that when Nintendo comes out and they say, okay, this is some of the features of the NX, this is some of the hype, that it'll probably maybe tone down some of those fake leaks, some of that, you know, rumors and speculation and stuff, because now we have official information to base ourselves upon. So you don't have crazy claims like the NX is going to use fucking Android OS or something like that. I'm hoping that'll be the way this works out. I don't I don't want a whole nother year of just random speculation from Nikkei or I, I don't know how do you pronounce it, that Japanese publication, Nikkei, Nikkei, but other things like that just don't turn me on right now. That's the reason why I didn't really talk about the NX too much because it seemed like everyone was coming up with these random rumors who seemed somewhat reputable, who really didn't understand the full situation. I mean, some people did, some people didn't, but yeah, it, just, it, just, it just rubbed me the wrong way, man, to see like a whole year uh, Satori Iwata revealed that the NX was being worked on in March, and now, you know, March 2016 passed and still nothing. I don't know. Let's take a look at some more comments. Coco Butter says, I think it will be a good move because the Wii U is not doing well. So I think a new console will bring new chances to sell. You mean in terms of... Well, yeah, we know they're going to do a new console. I just thought you meant... Uh, I, I was mentioning for the E3 thing and how it wasn't going to be talked about at E3. But the Wii U wasn't doing too well, so maybe he means that because it's not doing too well, if they bring up the NX now, it might hurt the Wii U, so I think that might be his perspective. Pikachu Kid says, confused about no E3 time, so wondering if they'll plan a second event for it. They gotta have a direct. If they don't show anything about the NX truly at E3, uh, maybe they're just trying to surprise us, I suppose, but I, I doubt it. At this point, they're definitely going to be bringing it up in a direct. And one thing that the Kotaku article mentioned earlier was that they said maybe they just didn't want the Nintendo NX competing with the PlayStation new console and just going arms to arms with the PS4.5 and the Xbox, whatever the fuck you may want to call it. Nintendo obviously doesn't see themselves within the same exact league as these other companies, these other platforms, these other consoles. So they want to differentiate themselves, and that's understandable. And they ha definitely have the platform to do it with the Nintendo Directs. Maybe that just might be the place that they reveal the NX at. Although, it, it, I don't know. I mean, sure, you don't want to go to war with other consoles, other companies, but at the same time, that's where the eyeballs are going to be, bro. But I'm sure people will be watching the Direct as well. Let's take a look at some more comments. We have Ender Bolt Bram saying, uh, well, okay, these guys are having a conversation in my, in my um, mentions. Let me see. Nintendo World Championships 2, so Mother 3 likely as well. Oh, okay, these guys are... What was he responding to? Let me see here. I think it's fine. Gives the Wii U owners a chance to finish up games and to give everyone a solid release date for anticipation. That's actually a big one. I have a library of games that I haven't even fucking touched yet on my Wii U and my 3DS. So this does give me a chance to, I guess, relax. No major information for the NX. Nothing to really make me say, okay, fuck the Wii U, fuck the 3DS. Because right now, we're currently still holding on to these things. They're still very dear to us right now. We don't have major information on the NX that make us say, fuck those consoles. So as much as we do know the release date, we still know nothing. How do we know nothing about the goddamn fucking console itself? what we know when it comes out. That's so weird. <laughs> Nintendo is so strange, man. No details. <laughs> Come on, man. But all right, guys. I think I'm pretty much done reading. Oh, yeah. Let me read one for my man, Crisp, Crisp Topher. Separate direct? Yeah, definitely. Is there anyone else here? 
let me see here. Is there people that I, I actually uh, know? Because I, I know I got some people in my circle that might be going to talk about this. We have Cog Hog saying, I'm kind of disappointed, but I'm hyped for Zelda Wii U, even if it's being delayed again. Sentiments, totally agree. We have my boy NBZ saying, it seems like PR suicide. I get the perspective. I was saying earlier in the video, I can understand, man, because it just seems, it's just so weird. A great way to disappoint your most hardcore fans. You're going to E3, my man. Don't go there with just a barren fucking lineup. I understand they're trying to take a different perspective. Another thing that the Kotaku article mentioned, that Nintendo is always trying to mix things up. We want to we want to approach things in a different perspective, but, you know, it changes their approach to every show, um, every year. I get you. We're going there with one fucking game in tow. I mean, what if there was someone who just strictly didn't have an interest? in Legend of Zelda. You basically just alienated every single one of those individuals. I mean, as great of a franchise as Legend of Zelda is, you can't bank on that and put all your eggs... You know, I mentioned that Nintendo didn't do that, but they did in a sense. You can't put all your eggs in a basket for goddamn Zelda. I, I love it, thankfully, but not everyone's going to have the same sentiments as I, as some of these people that are crazy about the series. That's just the way the real world works. There's going to be a lot of people that don't have an interest in Zelda. And you putting out a statement saying that the only playable game that'll be there is Zelda Wii U version. A fucking console that's currently struggling to stay relevant. Currently struggling to keep sales up. And you're only going to have Zelda Wii U available to play there. Nothing anticipating for the future. A weird move, but I trust you, Nintendo. As much as people may critique you, I still have my trust in you. I know you're not going to let that event be a bore or a disappointment. Hopefully, hopefully, although it seems like it is at this point, I'm just going to trust blindly. Don't disappoint me, okay? I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Everything will be linked in the description. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one. And a big thank you to all of my people through the notifications. All my guys who will follow me on Twitter for giving me their response, their thoughts on the whole thing. I'll talk to you later. Peace.